Nationals, I've been dying to take this trip since we moved to Ecuador. People come from all over the world to visit this small town in the Andes Mountains, just two hours west of Quito. And we found the people there to be the happiest in Ecuador. It's an easy drive and the scenery is incredibly beautiful. And our guide Javier had a surprise for us on our way there, but we weren't quite sure what to expect. This is very cool. Javier is taking us to Mindo and on the way we stopped at San Tadeo birding and oh my gosh, this is a dream come true. I cannot believe all these hummingbirds around us and I hear their wings. They sound so loud and they sound like giant bees. They come kind of whizzing past your head. This is the most incredible experience. I highly recommend coming here. And then we have this incredible, amazing lookout of the Valley of Mindo. Right over there, JP, you need to go take a look. I like know. It's stuck in my head. I know. They just are whizzing all over the place. Jeez, that <laughs> went right in front of the camera. Oh, wow. JP, can you feel him like eating? I can feel his wing. I can feel his, uh, the wind from his wings. Really? It's like a little fan. Oh, my gosh. That's so cool. Oh, my gosh. This is amazing. This is the coolest thing ever to have all of these hummingbirds swarming around and sitting on my hand. God, they're so tiny. When they talk, they sound like dolphins. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it cool? How would they sit on you? white as I am. Wow. Holy cow, this one sounds like a bee. I thought it was a bee. That's one of those that we saw at Ila Lo that hovers differently. This is Rolando and he is the owner of San Tadeo. This place is magical. Oh, Bienvenidos. Perfect. Siempre que gusten visitar Mindo, pues pasen por aquí. Ah, oh, muy bien. Bienvenidos. Muy bien. <laughs> este lugar es increíble. Muchas gracias. Increíble. Muchas, Muchas gracias. gracias. There's so many different types of birds you can see here. Not just the hummingbirds or the coldy breeze, you can also see the Ecuadorian thrush, tanagers, and toucans. We did see a couple, but unfortunately, we were not able to get them on video. So, la próxima vez. Rolando put out bananas so that the birds would come, um, which was amazing because who knew that they really liked to eat so many bananas? And we actually saw a squirrel, which we hardly ever see here in Ecuador. One of the great things about coming here is that you don't have to get up and leave your house by 5.30 in the morning <laughs> to see the birds because they come to you. Although there are a lot more birds to see if you want to get up at the crack of dawn and go further out. Javier, that was awesome with the hummingbirds. Thank you for taking us there. That was a great way to introduce us to Mindo. My yeah. pleasure, my pleasure guys. <laughs> Out of here. I guess we're about to find out. We stayed at Toucan Platinum Suites, which is located right by the bus station and it's super close to the square and the restaurants in Mindo. We chose this place because it's walkable and because it has a kitchen because we like to cook when we travel to save money and also to eat healthy. The suite was very comfortable. It had a king-size bed and a nice bathroom and a deck, which we thoroughly enjoyed. Yeah, it was nice to sit out there and watch the birds. If you're interested in learning more about this place, I'll put a link in the description so you can get pricing and plan your visit. <laughs> Amelia, vacas. Right outside our hotel door, I love it. <laughs> he has an itch on his ear. 
I think that's a she. She has an itch on her ear. All right, JP, let's go for our first walking tour of Mindo. I'm so excited. All right, vamanos. Maybe we'll find Where more cows. cows go? That, they went that way. Oh, there's a horse. After we settled in, we took a walk into town to find my second favorite thing that this area is known for. <laughs> Interesting that they'd have their market, like the pop-up market on Monday, but maybe they do that every day. We visited at the end of a holiday weekend, which is why they had that big pop-up market. There's also a nice park in the center of town with a fountain and of course the Mindo sign. There's also a lot of restaurants and shops for tourists. Wow, it smells amazing in here. Oh, si. Tienen mucho mm. chocolate. Unconventionals, I forgot to pack chocolate again. I forgot to pack chocolate when we went to Cuenca. I don't know what the heck's the matter with me. Maybe I just really want to go and do more chocolate shopping in new places. So I got you both chocolate. Javier said this is the best. ¿Quieres pizza? Sí. Vámonos. Okay. <laughs> is it working? They have a pizza vegetariana. So para nosotros sin queso. Y más vegetales. ¿Qué es el tamaño de Norma? Oh, yeah, Norma. Familia, es muy grande. This feels very Italian. I know, it does, doesn't it? Very family. Yes, very uh, familiar. So we ordered a normal size pizza, and that is $14.50, and it looks pretty large. Oh, wow. Oh, it's nice and crispy. Mmm. Parece que un poco calientita. Perfect. Wow. Okay. Mm. After a great night's sleep, we woke up to blue sky and sunshine. So we hurried up and got the drone up in the air. It rains a lot in this area, so we had to take advantage of it while we could. This way. All right, vamanos. Wow, it's gorgeous out this morning. It is. We woke up this morning and we had blue sky, which is really unusual here in the cloud forest of Mindo. So I was really happy to get the drone out very first thing this morning uh, before the clouds come in. We're told it rains every day around 2 p.m. for an hour or two. So we're gonna try and get a bunch of activities done before then. I keep hearing all those squeaky toy birds. JP, remember we used to hear those all the time in Olón. I know, I miss them. Watch out, there's a car. Look, a river runs through it. <laughs> Mi amigo nuevo. Oh, muy bien. Wow, it is so gorgeous here. I love it. He was telling me about all the different types of fruits and vegetables that we can get here in Mindo awesome. and how delicious everything is. Awesome. That sounds yummy. <laughs> all right, where are we going? I don't know. Let's go this way. Adonde vamos, Amelia? Hola. Hola. <laughs> Everybody is so friendly here. Several people have stopped us to talk. I had a nice conversation with that elderly gentleman, Abuelito. He uh, was very excited to share his, uh, his Mindo with us. We got the two lattes for seven dollars. They upcharge a little bit for the leche de almendra, the almond milk. We are on our way to Jardin Orquídeas to see the orchid garden. Very excited. Mindo has a 
has a little bit of a, a Yampe meets a Colorado mountain town feel to me. See, I, I think like it, it. I think it feels like Montanita. Yeah, it's not a party town though. It's definitely more family friendly. Yeah, it's very touristy. You did a good job, Amelia. We found it. Yay. Although, is it open? Well, I guess the orchid farm is closed today because their gates were closed and there wasn't anybody around for us to let us in. It is Tuesday, so it's a good chance it is closed today. Hola, hola, como esta? Hola. So we're gonna walk down now and try and find the Mariposa Farm, the butterfly pavilion. Apparently ATV rentals are very popular here. Looks like fun, but JP and I love to walk. Donde están las mariposas, Amelia? No say. I think we should be getting pretty close. I think it was like a five minute walk. Don't drop my camera in the water. Uh -huh. Well, after walking for like 10, 15 minutes down this dirt road, we finally decided to pull up a map and look at where this uh, butterfly park is and it's an hour's walk from the town so I think it's uh, better to take a car there or a motorcycle so we're gonna go back into Mindo there's a Mari, Mar, what, como se dice Amelia? I don't know, Mari Posario? Mario Par Posario de Mindo which is like a butterfly park it's right in town that's the one we should have gone to I guess it's quite warm, so the sun is out. This is very, very humid. It rains here a lot, and when the sun is out, it's very humid. We're wearing shorts and short sleeve shirts, and we're pretty warm. It's only at 4,000 feet, which is like, I think, 1,300 meters. So it gets warm here, a lot warmer than it does up in the highlands. Um, not quite as hot as it is in Olone this time of year, but it's still pretty warm. Are we lost again, Amelia? <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Head east toward Nine Dog Road. Which way is east? We go this way, I know. <laughs> I know, we're in the middle of the mountains. I have no idea what direction we're facing. Hold on. All right, we finally found butterflies. Are they open? They're open, let's go in. All right. Yay. So she said she needs to go get changed, so she'll bring it back to us when we come out. Okay. JP, this is incredible. I think we may have hit the jackpot because this has orchids, hummingbirds, and butterflies know, all in one. It only took us 45 minutes to walk three blocks here. I know. Look at these orchids. I know, they're amazing. They're so beautiful. These are all wow, plants. It doesn't, but I mean, it doesn't look real. It looks like, like artwork. This uh, looks prehistoric, Amelia. Look I at this. I know, it's amazing. And look, look at the orange over here, JT. Está un poco calientita. They're all in the... It says we can open these. Oh, look, there's a modern butterfly. Oh my gosh, they're huge. Remember we used to see these in a room. Pass, pass to the flight area, the area of flight. Oh my gosh. <gasps> wow. 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 <laughs> oh my gosh, this is amazing. Wow, look at this one buzzing around. Wow, this place is so magical. First hummingbirds and now this. Oh my gosh, JP, I feel like I'm in a Disney movie. I'm so excited. I've never experienced anything like this, JP, have you? No. Nope. This is an incredible, magical experience. I feel like I'm in a fairy tale. I wish I was Snow White so I could just call the butterflies and have them <laughs> land on me because they're flying all over the place. And I cannot believe how many varieties there are and so many colors. JP, 
Wow. This is pretty incredible. <laughs> They're all over. They're just flying all over the place. I wish I could get these blue ones <laughs> to calm down and for the camera. They keep <laughs> buzzing me, but they don't, don't ever land on anything like the other ones. Are they trying to get busy? I think so. <laughs> Video just does not do those butterflies justice. There were so many of them flying around and they were so beautiful, but the camera just doesn't seem to capture it very well. Yeah, well, that's because they were like flitting all over the place, unconventionals. It was incredible and I cannot wait to go back. Actually, I just cannot wait to go back to me. No, I have fallen in love. Well, I'm really glad we decided to come here. Tickets were only $5 a person, and wow, we got a lot of value, a lot of nature. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of hummingbirds. Unfortunately, I'm not getting very many of them on my camera. They are not never at the feeder where my camera is pointed. That's because they move so fast. I know, and they know. They know I'm trying to get them on camera. <laughs> They're camera shy. But wow, those butterflies and orchids. This place has everything. All right, let's go get something to drink and charge up my batteries. Sounds good. Cool. We had such an amazing time and relaxing week in Mindo, and we did film another video that will be available shortly showing you even more things to do while you visit there. If you enjoyed this video, we think you'll really like this one. Leave us a like, please, and we will see you all in our next video. Ciao. Ciao.